In the second section of Chapter 5, we discuss inverse operations with addition and subtraction. In class, we had a discussion about what inverse operations are, and we learned that inverse operations are opposites. So the inverse of addition is subtraction, and vice versa, the inverse of subtraction is addition. So here are our first examples. y plus 8 equals negative 3, and I think it's important for everybody to understand that it doesn't matter which way the problem is presented, as long as the same information is on each side of the equal sign. So here, on the left side of the equal sign, we have y plus 8 equals, and then on the right side, we have negative 3. And if you look over on the other problem, it's exactly the opposite. Just keep in mind that the same information is on each side of the equal sign. So both of these problems would be solved the same way because they're actually the same problem. We look at which side of the equal sign has the variable. So over on the left side, we, on this problem, we have the variable y. And the number that goes with the y is the number we want to get rid of. So we want to get rid of this positive 8. It's a plus 8. So the inverse of plus is minus. We need to subtract. So we're going to subtract 8 from this side of the equation. And whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other side of the equation. So we're going to subtract 8 on the other side of the equation. We'll draw a line across. Now we bring our y down because we still have our y. We bring our equal sign down because we still have our equal sign. And we can cross off these 8s because they cancel each other out. So now we have to combine negative 3 and negative 8. Negative 3 and negative 8 make negative 11. Okay? Now let's do this, this other example on the other side so that you can see they do come out exactly the same. We look for the variable. Here's the variable. And we know that we have to get rid of the number that's next to the variable. So we need to get rid of the 8. So we subtract 8 on both sides of the equation. These 8's cancel. Negative 3 and negative 8 combine to be negative 11. We bring down our equal sign, and we bring down our y. Same answer. Now here's the check. We take our original equation, y plus 8 equals negative 3, and we substitute in our answer, negative 11 plus 8 equals negative 3, and we see if they balance. Is negative and negative 11 and positive 8, when they combine, do they make negative 3? Yes, they do. So this one checks out fine. Here's a subtraction example. First we look for the variable. The variable is h, and we know that the number that's on the same side of the equal sign as the variable is the one we need to get rid of. So we need to get rid of minus 6. The opposite of subtract is add, so we have to add 6 to both sides. If we go across from left to right, we can bring down our h, cancel out our 6's, bring down our equal sign, and then combine the negative 1 and the positive 6, which equals 5. We can check our answer by using our original equation h minus 6 equals negative 1, and substituting in our answer. 5 minus 6 equals negative 1. When we combine 5 minus 6, we get a negative 1, which is equal to negative 1, and our answer checks out. Here's our third example, which is a little trickier. I wanted to make sure that I showed you how to do one that has the negative sign in front of the variable. We look for the variable, and we know the number in front of it is the one we have to get rid of, so we have to get rid of this 5. It's a positive 5 because it has no sign in front of it. So a plus 5 we get rid of by subtracting. We subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. Pardon my technical difficulty here. Subtract 5 from both sides of our equation. From left to right, the 5's cancel. We bring down the negative z, bring down our equal sign, and then we combine the negative 3 and the negative 5. The negative 3 and the negative 5 combine to be negative 8. Now, when you have the negative sign on the variable, you have to look at the other side. If you have a negative sign on both, you can cancel them both out. 
So now z equals a. If we would have had negative z equals positive 8, we'd have to move the negative sign to the other side. So z would equal negative 8. Okay? You need to know what to do if you have that negative sign on the variable. And that's what you do. If, they're, if it's on both the variable and the solution, you, they cancel. If it's on the variable and not the solution, you simply move it to the other side.